Hey everyone, this is Calvin and Marie with Southern Country Living. We hope that you enjoy our videos. Be sure and hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, leave us comments, and everyone have a great day. Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day today. Uh, I'm out here in my little growing area and I just want to show you a couple of my tomato plants. If you can see how tall these are getting, they are starting to get a little leggy. And I've already transplanted a bunch of them, but I thought I'd want to show you how I do it. This one here has already been transplanted. And as you can see, I've got it down in the dirt where it's just about one inch sticking out of the dirt before the first leaves. Now this one here, this one was a little bit taller when it was in a small container like this and I transplanted into this container and what has happened it started growing and it's just getting a little bit too tall for this extra weight so I'm going to transplant it and this is what you want to do if your tomato plants are getting too uh, leggy uh, in my case I've still got at least five or six weeks before I can put them outside so I want to get this as deep in the dirt as I can. And this is how I handle it myself. I'm going to take another pot that's the exact same size as this pot here. And I've got just a little bit of dirt down in the bottom. And I put a paper in there so that the dirt won't come out the bottom because it does have holes in the bottom. Okay. Then basically all I do is I'll I'll go ahead and cut this one out. And I will put it, I got as many roots as I could get, and I put it down in there just as deep as it will go in this pot. I'm going to try to keep it over toward the center. And then I'll use the same uh, pot and soil and just put it right back in there and I'm not going to pack it real tight I try to keep it sort of loose in there the potting soil has got some little twigs in it okay Okay, now that looks a lot better and it'll be stronger and every bit of the stem that was buried inside the potting soil, it will start to sprout roots and that'll make this plant be stronger and healthier for when I do put it on the outside. Now once you do, as soon as you uh, transplant one like this, put some water on it. I've already done all my others, so I'm almost out of water here. But I'm going to water it in real good. And I, when I'm inside the house like this, I just use a little, this uh, used to be dishwashing liquid, and I put water in it. It makes a real good uh, way of putting just a small stream of water, putting it right where you want it, and uh, not hurting your plants. But there you go, that makes it look good. Uh, let me get my other plants in here that I've already transplanted. Let me move them where you can see them. And I'll show you how they look. And I want to show you this right here on the tomato plant. If you look very close, I'm going to try to zoom in here on it. If you can see all those little hairs that's coming off the stem of the tomato plant, once you put this down deeper in the pot and soil, all those little hairs will start growing and they become roots. Okay, now these are the tomato seedlings after I've already transplanted them. And I'm going to show you a little picture here of what some of the seedlings look like before I transplant them. And as you can see, they were pretty tall. But I've got them all short now. That'll make them grow and get stronger roots and make some good plants. I do keep them, I alternate, I keep them inside under my grow light. This is my banana peppers right here. 
I'm going to turn the grow light on just for a second. And you'll notice when I turn the grow light on, uh, everything turns purple looking in here. But what I do, I keep them inside under the grow light. And then on the days that it's sunny and not cloudy outside, I set them in there next to our sliding glass doors so that they can get some good natural sunlight. This tray here has got 1941 cayenne peppers. And I think I've only got about five of them there. But I only need about maybe two or three plants of these. But they're looking real good. And like I said, there's the banana peppers. And these are my, this tray here is beefsteak tomatoes. And this tray over here is Better Boys. And I think this one's a beefsteak. One of them got mixed up here. And the Better Boy is back there. But anyway, I've got about six or seven of each one. And next week, I'm going to be starting some more seedlings. I want to end up with maybe 20 to 25 plants of tomatoes in my garden when I get through. But until the ground is ready to put them outside, I have to keep them from getting too leggy. And so I want to share this information with everyone. If your little tomato seedlings are getting too leggy, go ahead and take them out of the pot you have them in. Put them in another pot just as deep as you can so that they won't be uh, so tall. And that will make them grow stronger and make good tomatoes for you. Okay, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Hope this information helped you just a little bit. And if you will, please uh, subscribe to our channel. Hit the thumbs up and leave us comments. Everyone have a great day. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here